Good, good day everyone. So in this video, we will talk about how to quit your unfulfilling job and follow your aspiring career. So we will use life hack as a reference for this article that we are going to talk about that I'm going to share with you. So a lot of people are unfulfilled in their job. They are unhappy. They are uh, not realizing their full potential and they don't feel satisfaction in the job that they have. However, for most of us, uh, we have difficulty quitting our job just to pursue the, the dream career or job that will potentially make us happy. So it doesn't matter whether it's a 9 to 5 job or you work in ships, is it a satisfactory job? So it doesn't matter if your job is a shifting job or if your job is a, you have a, you have a, a nine, it's a 9 to 5 job, it's a day job. The question there is whether the job that you have is satisfactory Did you, didn't you ever feel like quitting your unfulfilling job so it says ha whether um, it, the, it, it's asking whether you have ever felt like uh, quitting or resigning from your from your unfulfilling job Realizing your materialistic needs is important, but do you love your means to earn your bread? So it's important that we are uh, we are meeting our day-to-day -day needs, our monthly needs, our bills, our uh, food. So it's very important that we are meeting these needs. But the question is, are you happy with? Are you happy with? your means or methods of earning your money so that is the question so don't worry because most people are in the same league you so a lot of people are in the same situation they are unhappy they are not fulfilled in their jobs but they could not leave their job because they have to meet their needs first when as a teenager you dream you aspire you are exuberant enough to chase those crazy dreams so when we are younger now uh, when wala pa tayo sa adulthood it's easier for us to follow through with our dreams and we are so uh, motivated and we know what we want when we are younger and parang we're not afraid to risk leave everything behind just to focus on our dreams but this gets harder when we grow older so as you grow older the zeal seems to fade away that drop down in intensity level sets a foundation for a compromise so according to this article is that as you grow older as we people grow older the zeal yung passion natin to pursue our dreams fades away so the intention fade for some reasons maybe because we think that the dream is sobrang hirap abutin or it takes a longer time and so um and so it's the motivation at then start starts to drop down so when we are uh, younger nandito pa yung motivation natin and focus to reach our dreams but then as we get older and as time goes by hindi natin siya na achieve
these are the ages that we think that we are already retiring we are already uh, not well, uh, we are not anymore in the age that we are still pursuing our dreams but in real life it thinks Nicole Sanders he only achieved these things when he was ready this age so he can chef shot the age of 40 at the age of 62 nagkaroon siya nagka franchise ng Kentucky Fried Chicken naging icon siya at 75 so if you think about it this age is super late na but he is a proof that it's never too late no matter what your age is so we have these steps and tips so you can quit your unfulfilling job and follow your aspiring career. The number one is for you to step out of your comfort zone. So it says that you have to challenge your comfort zone. The clock is ticking. You need to flow with time. So step out of your comfort zone simply means that you have to challenge yourself to go out of what you're of the things that you're already used to doing and you have to start doing things that actually scare you and that actually challenges you focusing yourself towards your dream career because the more it's like um, the more you stay it's like the saying that the more you focus yourself on the closed door you will never be able to see the other open doors or the other open windows something like that so if you had this wonderful job and you have a lot of good members in this job but you feel unfulfilled in that job and you want to pursue something else then you have to stop thinking about your previous job even though even though you have good memories from this job it doesn't mean that you're gonna forget it but just stop reminiscing or thinking about it and I think this is something that I would agree based on experience when I transitioned from call center to working online because I worked in the call center for five years so you can imagine I had a really hard time detaching from this because um, call center if call center jobs have a lot of perks and uh, it's also an enjoyable job if you're like me like you enjoy speaking in English and talking to foreigners not to mention that the office is really good and you'll meet a lot of good people 
um, so when I transitioned to work at home, I had a hard time during my first early years or first three years or so. Even up to now, there are still times that I still think about my call center job. And uh, according to this article, the more you think about this job, is the more you'll have a hard time appreciating the job that you had now and this is very true because there were many times when I was already working online I was already earning good money but still uh, a part of me still miss my old old job so we should never do this pala because this is a hindrance for us to fully be fulfilled in the new career that we are pursuing so we have to completely detach from it and to put all our focus in the new venture and the new job that we are doing because that's already past if it's not going to help you in your current career then just don't think about it focus on the new window new doors new opportunities that's open to you instead of focusing on the past quite interesting it says this allows social environment to control you so what an, uh, what I understand from this I may be wrong but what I understand is <sighs> don't let people define your journey and your destination for you are losing big time up the cord with your social environment which is not only polluting your personal but also your professional environment learn to manage your social network addiction so this is very big time and very much relatable to all of us so what this means is this allows social environment to control you from what i understand is don't uh, let social pressure and social environment control where you should be and what you should be doing because for example pe- pe- people in social media people in facebook they they have all these sorts of trending things and there are jobs that if you're in this job people will praise you people will uh, people will be more likely to notice you and to think highly of you because of social status <laughs> And for many of us, it does not necessarily mean that the things, that the jobs that can make us happy are these things. So what I'm saying is, don't allow other people in social media, in, in actual life, to control what you should be doing in life. You should know exactly what you want to do, not do things to please other people or for other people to see. So, itong gagawin ko, for example, mag YouTuber ako, so other people will see me as this and this, I will be famous. Uh, but if it's not really your calling, if it's not the thing that you want to be doing, then that's going to be a problem because you're just follow- following social trends. So, Thank you.
people who just who know already what they're doing in the world that you want to penetrate or enter then you have you will learn a lot from them you will learn a lot from them and you're more likely to succeed so my last tip I did not include, by the way, I did not include all of the tips from this article because it's 19 and my video is already 16 minutes, so I just want to trim it. The last tip is to prioritize your happiness over monetary happiness. So it's good if the path that you're pursuing also brings you monetary income. I'm not against that. I'm also a business-minded person. So this is important that also what you're doing also brings in money, but you have to think about fulfillment more than monetary satisfaction you have to focus more on being fulfilled in whatever you're doing have, have you heard of people who are uh, in jobs that their salary is not that much but they are happy and contented and when other people ask them why are you in this job and you can be like this and this and that and they would just tell you I'm already happy and content where I am so if that is true if what they're saying is true then that means they've already won towards this goal of being in your dream career because they give importance more to their satisfaction in life over money because money can't give you peace and can't give you fulfillment only being in a job that truly makes you fulfilled and happy so this article was written by Aman Pret Singh is a blogger and this is published on life hack the title is how to quit your unfulfilling job and lead your dream career so if you want to view the full article i'll put the link in the description down below and feel free to read, read the entire article and before i end this video i just want i want to give a shout out to Catherine salva hidma she is from hong kong and she left the comment in my last post. She said hi. But it's bad. So hi watching from Hong Kong. Hello. Thank you for leaving a comment. And so that's it for this video and I'll see you in my next video.